Alright you guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be doing an uh, unboxing, product overview and testing of uh, one of Oxbeam's new lights here. And this is uh, one of their all-purpose sort of, uh, I mean they're all sort of a high, uh, all-purpose, but it looks like this one's aimed towards pretty much every single vehicle out there. Uh, you can mount this to just about anything with its mounting, uh, with its mounting option that you have. Um, on the box it sort of says, you know, like, you know, you can mount it to a Volkswagen Jetta or why not the hood of a Chrysler 300. I really wouldn't do that, but that's just me personally. Uh, but that's the way they're showing the light. And uh, it's, uh, I think it's a good direction of where they're going, trying to expand their market. Uh, maybe people who live out in, out in the middle of nowhere, so that need the light. But it uh, comes in this little package here. And... Like I said, all-purpose LED light bar, high-powered LED, 54 watts, and supplies 3,780 lumens. And color temperature is a 6,000K. IP, uh, this is the waterproof rating and dustproof rating, so how, not, how well it's sealed, which is IP67, which is pretty standard now for Oxbeam. And here is all of your specs nicely on the box here. So you can use this from 9 to 32 volts, so it's even good for your diesel guys. Uh, 118 uh, 3 watt LEDs, 54 watts of, uh, of how much uh, power it's going to pull. Current draw is 4.2 amps at 12 volts, and 12.1 amps at 24 for your, like I said, diesel guys. And again, there's your lumens, color temperature, and it is a sp uh, spot and flood combo. Material is aluminum for housing. Mounting bracket is stainless steel. Lens is uh, it's like a polycarbonate, basically a really good version of it. And uh, here's all your specs as well. So I mean, I, I I like the direction they're going with their packaging. It's like you know, here's instead of having to go out and hunt down and find out exactly all the specs on on this light, they go ahead and print everything out on here for you, which is really nice. So here's all of your specs on the size of the light itself, and just the overall design of it. So. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, crack this guy open here. So, as you can see, standard ox beam. You've got uh, a nice little styrofoam block here. Actually, I'm going to set you guys down really quick. Get this guy out of the box. So here's the actual light itself, still wrapped up and everything, and uh, just the usual, uh, you will either need to make one or, uh, from what I hear, they're actually supplying their own harnesses now, so you can actually add that onto the kit as well. Um, Oxbeam is making their own harnesses, uh, from what I've been told, and so it makes, you know, hooking up, you know, instead of having to go buy this and then go to the parts store or whatever, uh, it's a lot nicer just to be able to buy your things in one in one spot. So take these uh, slide these little styrofoam blocks out of the way and let's go ahead and get this uh, bubble wrap out of here so, there's the light single row LED and uh, decent thickness uh, obviously it's not a huge LED uh, light bar so you don't need a huge gauge wire for this uh, I know on some of their really big uh, light bars, like my 52 that they uh, that they loaned me out for testing, uh, that thing is huge gauge wiring because it pulls a lot of power. But uh, for something like this, you really don't need a whole lot of power, and uh, you really don't need that thick of gauge wire. So, but you can see right here in the center, you just have the standard lens, and then as soon as you move outward, the last what is that? The last six lenses on each side, you have the diffused lenses in there. So as you can see right in there. So, and at first I thought these little end caps were, might, might be like uh, turn signal lights or something, but it looks like it's just decorative, so. Uh, and they, they seem like they're mounted on there fairly well. And uh, so this is, this is the aluminum housing here, and then these are stainless steel uh, painted. And so you, the nice part is, is like, just like on the picture of the Chrysler 300 on the box, is you can just take this and slide it onto the back side of your hood if you want. And uh, the kit also does come with uh, like little 3M adhesive pads that you can put underneath here to really stick it on there. Or if you want to go full Rambo, you know, you can always just drill through this and then, you know, really secure it on there. 
Uh, I think in some applications, and maybe down like a really bumpy dirt road or something, if you're putting this on a truck, it might come loose uh, if you just use this method. But uh, you know, I'm sure someone come, someone will come up with some uh, some backroads uh, in engineering. So, and the nice little ox beam logo embossed right here on the center of the light with a really nice high gloss white casing here. So, <clears throat> and like I said, same thing on this side. You have the six diffuse lenses right here. So, overall it feels like a really good light and uh, once it gets dark outside and I gotta go to work here in about 20 minutes and so uh, I'll be getting back at about uh, one o'clock in the morning. And when I do, we'll go ahead and hook this up to the car and we will fire this thing up and see how she performs. Um, and just look at the uh, beam pattern as well as uh, how well it disperses the light and the color temperature. And uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and pick that up there. Alright you guys, so uh, finally just getting off work now. Uh, it's nice and dark outside. And uh, now that I actually have a little bit of free time, we're going to go ahead and see how this uh, single row light bar from Oxbeam does. So, uh, as you can see, my truck is not here. It's parked outside, so I've got the Lincoln. I've got the jumper wires uh, off the positive and negative terminal off the battery, and so this is the negative. And let's go ahead and light her up here. So, there she is, shining on the light right there. And you can actually hear this thing humming. I'm going to shut up and see if you guys can hear it. I don't know, but uh, yeah, these things all light up just fine, just like that, and it's got a very clean pattern as well, it's like a combination of uh, spot and flood, so, and uh, like I said in the, pre in the uh, earlier, um, it is nice because you can, you can mount this to a lot of different things, uh, obviously this is not going to get mounted to the Lincoln because it doesn't need it, and, uh, but, um, yeah, from the from the picture I saw, uh, or that you guys saw in the box, it looks like you can like strap this to the end of a hood or something, and uh, or a grill for that matter, or a bumper. So uh, it looks like a pretty versatile little light. And uh, yeah, so that's the uh, that's the unboxing, showing, and demo of this light. And I need to clean my lens off. But uh, yep, so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect her, so I'm not draining too much of my battery here. And uh, that's the light. So uh, I'll uh, see if I can find a link on Amazon to this. And uh, if I do, I'll go ahead and throw this in there. And then um, if not, just be on the lookout for it sort of thing. But uh, I'll try my best to go ahead and find a link for this uh, for Oxbeam. So that's the video, guys. Take care. Thanks for watching.